digital romance TV. Hi everyone! Welcome to digitalromance.tv. I'm Kimberly Seltzer and I'm a dating and makeover expert. I draw upon my experience as a previous therapist to really give an inside out approach when it comes to looking and feeling your best. And I'm very excited to be a part of Digital Romance. So um, I, it's funny because I'm here on set doing a reality show. It's a dating reality show. And what came to me today doing this episode was how many people struggle when it comes to the different phases in dating. And it's my theory, and a lot of my clients come to me, and by the way, I work with both men and women, um, and I watch people out in the field. I'm kind of like your wing girl. So I see what's happening in the different aspects of dating. And what I find that's very common is that people fall short in different phases, depending on what their strengths and their challenges are. So I wanted to talk to you about the three phases in dating. And how that helps is once you find where your strengths are, if you're really good in one phase, then um, look at the challenges that you're having in the other phases and kind of take notice of what I'm about to tell you and share with you. Okay, so the first phase in dating is what I call the courting phase. This is kind of the cat and mouse phase. Um, boy meets girl, girl meets boy, boy likes girl, girl's not sure if girl likes boy. Um, it's kind of the flirty stage. Um, it should be light, it should be fun, it should be humorous, um, not too much. Um, then we move into something what I call just pure dating phase. That is maybe it's been about three months in and you're dating this person consistently and you want to see if it's going to get to the third phase and that's a full-blown relationship. You're in a committed relationship. And here's the thing. So people who are really good at the relationship thing usually fall short in the courting phase. It becomes too much, too soon, too fast. They don't know how to kind of keep it light and fun. They get too deep and either the other person runs or you fall into the friend zone. Sound familiar? Conversely, if you're really good at the courting phase and having fun and being flirty and then you get, you know, further along, further along and you find yourself close to the third phase, you may fall short in that phase as well because you're not getting deeper with that person. And so you either run um, or you, you might be considered as the non-committal person. So whatever phase you are strong in, really take a look at that for yourself. And that's what I help people with. And you should think of yourself as an onion with lots of layers. And you're at, you know, to try to really figure out what the core and who you are, you need to peel the layers slowly. Don't expose your core right in the first phase. Really take time to get to know someone and make them want more. Make them want to peel the onion, so to speak. So remember, the three phases of dating are the courting phase, the dating phase, and the relationship phase. If you want to find out more and how to be successful in all phases, make sure that you sign up for all the goodies that I have to offer on EliteImageMakeovers.com, and I hope to see you soon.